The second semi-final in the Courtyard Ferns Intermediate Hurling Championship is between Algate, Len Bryan and St. James. So, Benny, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it's going to be a, a nice, fast game, I think. Um, Algate just down from senior, you know, and St. James is, I think, they'll they'll have it all to do uh, against Algate and, you know, they'll be looking for Podge Dorn and the Rex, you know, and I think they've more than enough to get Algate over the line this weekend, you know. And Des? Yeah, she would expect an Algate might be a bit strong for St. James as they're only gone down from senior, but look at St. James, they're after being there, they're about the last couple of years and um, they're not going to give them an easy game. I think they were level at half-time last year at the game in, in Ross, but I, I think Algate will win this one. And Ed St. James made a semi-final last year. Algate might be a little bit disappointed to have been beaten in a quarter-final last year. Yeah, I was at that match between Algate and Cross the Big and, and Cross the Big were full value for their win. I just think Algate are hitting form at the right time, you know. They they lost to the Bunt Lodi, but they're after having two major wins against Timon and uh, Buffers Alley, two of the what I would consider two of the top half teams, you know. So they're hitting form at the right time, but there is the the Podge Dorn factor and no one better than Matthew O'Hanlon to stop the supply going in, you know. So it it'll be closer than a lot of people think, but if you're asking me, I think Algate will win it. And uh, St. James have some very good players as well. Dara, Dara Lyons, Rob Barron, Matthew O'Hanlon, obviously, as Ed has mentioned. So they do have a, plenty of good players around the field, but I just think Algate might just manage to get out on top on this one.